Earl Glanshaw Foreman here at Township Chevrolet with another edition of Tech Talk. I'm here with Colton Page. He's one of our Express Bay technicians. Uh, funny enough, he's doing an oil change, and that's what you guys voted on in our uh, Facebook page for what we should talk about next. So here we are. Um, I guess the question is why we do oil changes. So first thing we should talk about is what the oil does in your engine. Um, it helps lubricate the parts that would normally wear or seize up without the oil. Um, so it helps with wear, uh, lubricates it so everything runs uh, with as little friction as we can, which means it's going to uh, uh, last longer. Uh, it also helps with heat. Uh, the oil, obviously all those parts in there generate a lot of heat and the oil helps control the heat by taking the heat away. Uh, into the base pan where the engine cools it. Some cars have oil coolers which helps out. Um, it also helps carry the debris, uh, metal filings that do come off the parts that do make contact in the bearing material and stuff inside the engine. And it takes that to the filter system or to the air, engine oil filter itself where it gets collected there. Uh, and then obviously the oil filter's changed out and the new filter goes in. So uh, some of the main things you gotta make sure is you gotta follow manufacturer's specifications when it comes to viscosity or oil is really important. And whether or not your uh, manufacturer requires you to use either uh, standard oil, uh, uh, synthetic blend, or a full synthetic oil. That's something you gotta keep in mind. And obviously make sure your engine oil is at the right level. Every engine, no matter if it's a brand new car, burns some amount of oil. There's always a little bit of a, an oil film inside the cylinder whenever the piston comes down. Uh, so when there's an explosion in there and your spark plug lights off, you're gonna have a, a slight amount of oil burn. So it's always good, no matter if your car is new or not, to check your oil. Uh, and obviously get your oil changes done when your manufacturer recommends, whether it be 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, or sometimes even 12,000. And having said that, uh, if you're using synth synthetic oil in your car and you're putting on the full recommended mileage, if you're going to go to 10,000 kilometers, some manufacturers even 12,000 and push that limit, you want to make sure you get a good quality filter on there because if you've got an engine oil that's uh, fantastic and a poor filter that's going to break down after five or 6,000 kilometers, well, then all that debris and sludge and, and stuff gets back into the engine anyway. So uh, key things, oil changes done on time is going to, uh, viscosity oil is gonna be great. It's gonna keep heat down. It's gonna keep wear down. It's gonna make your engine last longer. It's gonna help with fuel economy because it's gonna lubricate the parts like it should. It's not, oil's not broke down. So it's gonna, your engine's gonna run a lot freer down the road. Um, and two, with the right viscosity, cold engine starts. Uh, a lot of the oils in the cars these days are uh, getting a lot thinner and the reason why they're doing that oil oil tolerances or the clearance between the metal parts uh, where the oil sits is obviously getting tighter uh, and you've also got um, you want the oil to get to those moving parts quicker so it's sitting in your base pan you start your coal engine first thing in the morning uh, heavier thicker oil like a 1030 they used to use years ago or even thicker takes a long time for that oil to get up to the top of the engine to lubricate things like lifters push rods all that kind of stuff valve train area and time and chain where the thinner oils gets up there real quick. So um, oil change, one of the most important maintenance things you can do. Uh, we have uh, Express Bay here where, where Colton works. Uh, it's, we're open uh, seven to seven, Monday to Saturday, no appointment necessary, just pull in the drive-through there. We'll, someone will meet you in our drive-through and uh, we'll get you fixed up and get you in and out as quick as we can. So it's not a real inconvenience for us. So uh, that's another edition of, of Tech Talk. Uh, any other suggestions, just drop it in the comments below or uh, you know, uh, share it on the Facebook page, uh, make a comment there, and uh, yeah, I might do another poll. So if you see one of those come up, participate for sure and vote on which one you want us to talk about. And uh, like I said, another edition of Tech Talk, and uh, look forward to seeing you all.